Right, mate, if you want success on a first date, you need to do these following three things. Number one, you need to get the girl speaking the vast majority of the time. And crucially, you need to get her speaking about things that excite her and that she's passionate about. Number two, there needs to be gradual physical escalation. And number three, there needs to be polarity between the conversation topics and the tension during a date. So let me break down each one in more detail. So, number one, get the girl speaking the vast majority of the time about things that excite her. Look, mate, we all enjoy talking about ourselves, don't we? We all enjoy tell telling other people about ourselves, our accomplishments, our interests, our passions, okay? So, if you want the girl to have the best time possible on this date, she needs to be doing the vast majority of the speaking. And the reason why her talking to you about things that genuinely excite her, that she has a genuine passion for, is so important, is because when we speak about things that we like and we generally have a passion for, naturally, we feel better, we feel happier, we release positive endorphins. So if she's speaking to you about all, all these passions, all these interests, and she's releasing all these feel-good chemicals, all these feel-good hormones, she's gonna naturally associate speaking with you with improving her self-esteem and her mood. She's gonna naturally associate that when she speaks to you, she naturally has a good time. And that's super powerful. You need the girl to enjoy spending time with you. And this is one great way to do it. Look, mate, I've been there on dates where I've ended up speaking about myself too much. And the girl just gets bored. Because obviously she's there to get to know you as well. But, you know, if, if you're doing all the talking, then, you know, she just she, she gets bored. Because you need to have that air of mystery as well. If on a first date, you leave, or say, you leave a first date and then you're sort of already worried for the potential second date because you feel like you've told the girl everything about yourself and there's nothing else for her to find out about you, you've done it all wrong. You need to try and disclose as little information about yourself as you can on this first date. Number one, to have that air of mystery. Okay, girls love mystery. If you can create this air of mystery, she's gonna be naturally more attracted and drawn to you. And also because if she's speaking the vast majority of the time, you won't have a chance to tell her your whole life story, to tell her everything about you. So that's the first thing, mate. Make sure the girl talks about her interests, talk about her passions to you, because like I say, it will naturally release these feel-good feeling chemicals and make her associate speaking to you with having a fantastic time. Number two is gradual physical escalation. If you want to take this girl home on a first date, for example, or you just want to develop a sexual relationship, uh, sexual relationship with her at some point, you both need to develop this comfort with physical touch, okay? You both need to feel comfortable touching each other. If you want to take this girl home on a first date and you haven't touched her at all during the, uh, during the date, Bringing her home is going to be so much harder because you've now got this massive bridge that you haven't crossed yet. You've got this massive like chasm that you haven't crossed yet. Physical touch. However, if you gradually escalate physical touch from the start of the date to the end of the date, her then coming back to yours and having sex with you that night is going to feel much less weird and much less of a, like I say, a massive jump. You want the whole thing to be a smooth escalating curve. So how you do this is, obviously at the start of the date, it's very subtle. You know, the odd touch of the hand, touch of the thigh, just little touches here and there. Then further along in the date, if you're both obviously getting along well, you can put your arm around her. You can again touch her thigh, but leave your hand there for a little bit longer. This is gonna build comfort with the girl. 
as you're gradually increasing the physical touch, the girl is just going to feel more comfortable with you touching her for longer and longer periods of time. And therefore, like I say, it's going to give you a much bigger chance, a much better chance of her being comfortable that night to coming back home with you and sleeping with you, if that's what you want. But like I say, even if it's not, if you're looking for something more serious, you need to develop that comfort within her and within you to be able to touch her for longer periods of time and her feeling comfortable with it. And mate, look, if you do want to sleep with her and you don't have any physical touch during the day, it's not going to happen. Mate, I've been there as well, okay, where in the past, obviously, you know, usually people like to sit opposite on a, so you say you go to a bar or a restaurant, the normal thing to do is sit opposite each, uh, opposite each other. Don't do this, mate. This is the biggest problem or the biggest, the biggest block that's going to prevent you from escalating in physical touch. If you sit opposite each other, how the hell, unless you have like 10 meter long arms, how the hell are you going to escalate physically? There's absolutely no way. So whenever you go to a bar or a restaurant, sit, so don't sit opposite her, sit adjacent to her so that you can reach her thigh, reach her waist, reach her hands. That's the only way that you can actually escalate this physical touch. And it's crucial, mate. Like I say again, I'm gonna reiterate it so you get the message. It builds that comfort within the girl. As you escalate physically, she's gonna feel more comfortable with you. And therefore, it increases the chance or the likelihood of her coming back to yours. And the third thing that you must do on a first date to have success is have polarity in conversation topics and also in your demeanor. If a conversation is all just get to know you stuff, it's boring, mate. You've built no sexual uh, tension, no sexual chemistry. There's absolutely zero chance that the girl's gonna go home with you or see you again. Because like I say, you haven't built that sexual chemistry. On the flip side, if the whole date is just sexual in the endos and just teasing and flirting and no, no get to know you stuff, no more, no laid back stuff, it's gonna also be a bit weird for the girl. So the key is to have both. Have that polarity between get to know you conversations, get to know you questions and being more laid back but also more sexual questions, more sexual conversations, more sexual tension, flirting and teasing. If you can balance the two, if you can, if you can incorporate both into the date, it's gonna give you that perfect balance of displaying to the girl that you are sexually interested into her, but also that you want to get to know her more as a person. And this is the perfect combination. So mate, to recap, the three things you need to do on a first date to maximize your chance of success. Whether success to you is taking a, home, uh, taking a girl home that first night and sleeping with her, or getting that second date and hopefully you know, developing something long-term, something more serious with this girl. The three things are, number one, get the girl speaking the vast majority of the time on a date. I'd say around at least 80% of the time and crucially about things that she's passionate about and things that excite her. Number two, make sure there's gradual physical escalation on the date. Make sure the way you're seated on a date is in a way where you can reach her thigh, reach her waist, reach her hands. And like I say, gradually escalate physically to build comfort within the girl. And number three, make sure you have polarity. Make sure that there's sexual tension and also more laid back tension as well in a conversation. Make sure that you talk about things that build sexual tension, but also that allow you to get to know the girl a bit more on a personal level, on a normal level. Do these three things, mate, and you will maximize your chance of success on a first date and you'll see it, mate. You'll start bringing more girls back to your place. You'll start developing more meaningful, long-term relationships with girls as well. And overall, you'll have a much more fruitful date in life.